Ladies, we are thrilled to announce the launch of the spring session of our Connect Her Women Small Groups. On Sunday, January 30th, after service, we'll have tables in the foyer for you to meet the leaders and sign up for groups. Brochures will also be available that Sunday filled with additional information and meeting times for each group. Our online congregation can also sign up online after service on our website under the Connect Her tab. We were never meant to walk alone. Let's begin 2022 by connecting with others in this important way. On Friday, February 4th, starting at 6.30 p.m., we are going to be hosting a Moms and Daughters Night for our first Shine Girls meeting of 2022. This is open to all girls and kindergarten to seventh grades and their moms. Pastor Miriam will be our special speaker and we'll have lots of fun things planned. Moms, remember you must sign up online or at the Connect desk to participate. Signups are open now. It's about that time for our next rolling meeting. If you're a young adult between the ages of 18 and 35 years old, then we hope to see you on Sunday, February 6th at 6 p.m. This is a great way to build community and fellowship with a night of worship and an on-time message from our leaders. We hope to see you there. Encourage Moms, we have an event just for you coming up on Friday, February 11th at 6 p.m. We are hosting a Galentine's party for a chance to let our hair down for a night of fun with games, food, and an opportunity to get to know other moms. No matter where you are in the journey of motherhood, you are invited. Please sign up at the Connect Desk or on our website. God said, when your sheep has a lamb, Give me the first one. It takes faith to give the first one before you have any more. You don't know if the sheep's gonna produce anymore. That takes faith. God didn't say, wait until your sheep has 10 and then give me one of them and you can give me the one that keeps getting in your garden that you don't like. He said, you give me the first one before you have any others. See, so many people think it's not the 10% that enacts the blessing, it's the faith that enacts the blessing. 